Good morning. All right, Miss Lani, Miss Alucha, kindly lead the prayer. Okay. Amen. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. Kindly pick up the pieces of paper that's yes, on the floor and arrange your chairs, please. Silently. All right. Thank you so much. Miss Bidol, Miss Sasha Padilla, who are absent today? Okay. Okay. Now. Can anyone remember what topic we ended with last meeting? Yes, Mr. Christian Bautista? A staff. Very good. And what is a staff, Mr. Christian Bautista? A set of horizontal lines. Very good. Now, Miss Rachel Ango, how many horizontal lines and spaces does a staff have? Five lines and four spaces. Very good. Very good. You may take your seats now. Okay, a staff represents different musical pitch, okay? So now, I would like you to listen and tell me what you think of these two sounds, okay? Again. And last. Okay, can you hear the difference in pitch? Do you recognize which one is the higher pitch and the lower pitch? Very good. Okay, I want you to take note of that, okay? So, um, also, I want you to know that there are, I mean, in a musical notation, there are seven, seven main musical notes, and those are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. That's the seven main musical notes in a musical notation. And in a staff, in a staff, these musical notes are put on the staff in or from the bottom to top okay like this one c d e f g okay so it's from the bottom to g it's from the bottom to top the musical notes on a staff and once you are done with g you have to go back to a, B, C, and so on. And then here, okay. that's how you do a musical note in a staff. Now, just take note of this, okay? Now, there are three claps, three claps in a musical notation, but for today, we are only going to talk about two claps of musical notation. And those are the treble clef and bass clef. Okay? Now, remember, remember the sound I let you hear a moment ago? Yes. The higher pitch and the lower pitch very good so that higher pitch is the treble clef okay that's the treble clef and then the lower pitch that's the bass clef very good now the other term for treble clef treble clef is also called G clef And bass clef is also called F clef. Now, Miss Kate, why do you say it's G clef and F clef? We will talk about that late about that later, okay? And then now, what is clef? Miss Kate, what is clef in a musical notation? Okay, clef. Yes, Miss Sarah Geronimo. 
Very good! A clef is a symbol placed at the beginning of the staff. Now remember, we have one, two, three, four, five lines in a staff and four spaces. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now, symbol. Clef is the symbol placed at the beginning of the staff. So, a clef or a symbol, a clef will be put here. The starting point or the beginning of the staff. Now, okay, Miss Kate, what is the treble clef symbol? Okay, the treble clef symbol class is, it is, it looks like this. Okay, let's erase this first. Sorry about that. Okay, now let's draw or create a treble clef. Treble clef is, or looks like this. That's a treble clef. Once again, it's like a letter S. A cursive letter S. You start from here and then you curve that one. You go up and down. That's a treble clef. Now, what's an F clef symbol? An F clef symbol is very simple. You are you're just going to um, imitate or it looks like a question mark but it has two periods and the two periods is placed at the um beside the question mark it goes like this the one and the two periods are here that's base clef are you taking down notes very good okay that's base clef or f clef now as we have said earlier, a clef or these clefs are um, symbols that are placed or symbols that are placed at the beginning of the staff. Now let's make a staff, okay? Let's make a staff and let's put the base clef and treble clef on... Okay, let's make treble clef and bass clef on a staff. But first, let's introduce what is treble clef and what are the notes that are on a treble clef, okay? Treble clef or, yes, G clef. Very good. Now, on a treble clef, we have five lines, right? Or a staff, we have five lines. And on a treble clef, we have notes on the lines that are E, G, B, D, F. And on the space, or on the spaces, F. A C A. Now to um to simply or to um easily memorize these notes on the G clef or treble clef, we um we can use the mnemonics. Okay. Okay. Mnemonics. <laughs> mnemonics. M N E M O N I C S mnemonics. In the um on the lines of treble clef we have E G B D F. So to simply or easily memorize it, you can use or we can say every good boy does. Fine. And on the spaces, we can use only face. That's simple. Face. F-E-F-A-C-E. -E. Now, again, a clef, a treble clef or a G clef looks like 
this, okay? You can do that again and again. And on a staff, we'll now create a staff. How many lines does it have? Three, five, very good. Okay, and spaces? Four, one, two, three, four, very good. Okay, so since our G-clef has um, five um, notes on the lines and four notes on the spaces, the E, G, B, D, F, and F, A, C, E, I told you a while ago that when you put notes on a staff, it should start from the bottom to top, okay? So now we have E, G, B, D, F for the lines. Let's put every good boy does find that's E, G, B, D, F, okay? And on the spaces, let's put F. A, C, E. That's face. Now, as you can see, it's, um, it's put from, it is from the bottom to the top. Like E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then G, and so on, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So, as you can see, we have here the G note. The G musical note. And this is why treble clef is called G note. Why? Because the starting point of G clef or treble clef is on the G note or the G note of the, the second or the fourth line of the staff. Let's start. Um, what should I use? Blue. Okay. Let's start from here. The band told you a while ago that you knew when you make a G clef, you should start from here. You, you should start your line from there. And then since it's G clef or treble clef, G note, let's start from here, the second line from the bottom. Okay, let's curve that one, then up and then down. That's how you make a G clef. And that's why treble clef is called G clef. It's because the G note of the G clef or the starting point of the treble clef is on the G note of a staff. Get it? Very good. Again, let's do it again. Let's start from here and then you curve. Then you go up and down. Okay, are you taking down notes? Very good. Okay, now let's go to the next clef, which is the bass clef. Okay, bass clef. Bass clef or F clef. Very good. Now, can you see now why it's called F clef? Yes, it starts with, the starting point of the F clef is with the F note on the staff. But, please remember that the notes on the G clef on a staff is different when it comes to bass clef, when it's about bass clef, okay? So, on the lines of bass clef, Here, lines, and then spaces. Okay, so on the lines of bass clef, we have G, B, D, F, A, and on its spaces, we have A, C, E, G. Now, to so easily memorize this we can use again the mnemonics so in base clef we have g b d f a okay and we can um we can memorize that through saying good boys do Fine. Always. Yes. Diba? Dalila. And on the spaces, 
we have A, C, D, G. Now we can create mnemonics on that, like all cows eat grass. O, di ba? Dali ka. Now, it's very simple. Now, on the stuff, let's make another stuff for base clef. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, remember the face of the F clef? Yeah, it looks like a question mark, di ba? It's like a question mark with two dots on the side. That's the F clef, okay? Always remember that one. Just curve and then period. Now, since base clef is also called F clef, because, yes, Christian Bautista? Very good. The starting point of the base clef or F clef is on the F note of the staff. Now, how can we find that? Let's put on the lines the best the base clef's um, notes. The good boy, good boys do fine always. And the spaces on the spaces that's okay, oh, it's me. All cows eat grass. Now, once again, if you read it, that um, um, the seven, once again, if you read or say the seven name musical notes of a musical notation we have a b c d e f and g it's from the bottom to the top so let's say it's g let um the star the stuff and then with the g the first line is with g so we'll have the next note as a b c d e f g a right that's like how you check if your bass clef or G clef is right, okay? On the right or the notes are in on the right spaces and lines. So, now how to make the F clef? I told you a while ago that bass clef, the starting point of the bass clef is the F note. So, where's the F note here on the stuff? Yes, Miss Lani, Miss Lucha? Okay. The second line, that's the F. So, when you write F clef, you'll start from here. The second line, since it's the F note, you start from here. And then you curve and then put two periods on the side. You got that? Yes, very good. Again, let's do it. From here and then you curve. Periods. You got that? Very good. Now, get a one half sheet of paper and then on your paper you create two long stuff. Two long stuffs. The first stuff you will create five treble clef or G clef on it. And on the second staff, you create five bass clef or a F clef on it. You got that? Okay, very good. Now, for your assignment, for your assignment, you study the movable clef or the third clef of the musical notation, which is the clef or C clef. Movable, movable clef or C clef. That's it. Now you start your um, evaluation. You write or create five treble clefs and five bass clefs on your stuns. And then you pass it to me once you're done. Okay? Very good. Okay.